what's going on guys? So basically, I'm fed up with my backhand being my big weakness. So I thought I'm going to go to extreme measures in order to fix this. I've given myself seven days to try and turn this backhand into this backhand. So to do this, I've enlisted the help of the Amicus Prime robot, some coaching and also video analysis. Now, to find out if my backhand really has improved over the seven days, I'm going to do a test at the start of the week and then a test at the end of the week to see if my numbers have improved. Let's go. Now guys, I'm all warmed up, had a good practice there with the robot. Now the test is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna do one backhand touch, come back out, play one backhand open up. That's one sequence. I'm gonna do 30 of these and see how many I get on out of 30 and then compare myself in seven days time. Let's get to the test. Come on in robot, let's do this. Come on. That's tough, a lot harder than it looked. It felt like it went on forever. Interesting, because I hit some really good backhands there. I was impressed myself actually, but a lot went long as well. And uh, there's a lot of room to improve. Yeah, I feel like I need to practice, get it better. I want to get a lot more consistent with it. Let's get to training, here's day one. Okay, so the training begins. I'm just going to do a long backspin ball to my backhand. I just actually practice the backhand top spin, take out the push shot and really isolate that shot. Here we go. Let's go. Ah. I think I need to have my weight more forward. <coughs> That's better. <coughs> Ooh. Got a Tesla car key for it. Stop. What I like about the robot is just really focus and just practice really accelerating into the ball. And that's what I'm trying to get in day one here. I just want to get a feeling of really hitting the ball hard not worrying too much if it's going on or not. I just want to get that feeling using my legs, using my waist and body and wrist and snapping into the ball and then start to fine tune it later on in the week. <laughs> Feeling my legs. Ah, getting on fit. So guys, that's day one done. All right guys, it's day two here in my training with the robot and I've brought along a special guest, Tom, known for his backhand. So Tom, you better give me some tips on my backhand. I hope try so. Try and prove it. Yeah, I hope so. And obviously you're gonna be using the robot. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting actually seeing how the, uh, the training goes with it. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come okay, on. Let's go, start. Here we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See it stay down. Oh, that's good. Whoa, that was a good one. Okay, one more good one. Oh, nice. Ooh, felt like Patrick Francisca. That was good. I think the ones where you had more quality, you were releasing your wrist better, and, and yeah, and you were staying low in the body and legs. Like yeah. sometimes where it was going long, it was like you were like releasing out. Losing the shape. Rather than, yeah, your body staying low, and, and the wrist releasing at the end, like the wrist coming out. Into the ball, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. then you were getting more spin and quality out of it, I feel. So trying to finish it in front. Yeah, let's get that brush though. There it is. Try and stay low after the touch when you come back as well. Okay. So like, stay down and then you're ready. Oh, that's better. Stay down and then you're ready. Nice. Wow. Ah, come over the top then. Yeah, he turned the wrist through the shot, yeah. That's actually what Pitcher said a lot, didn't he, in the masterclass? Yeah. Um, when you follow through on the backhand. Coming over and around over. the ball. You're not just going straight, you're getting that whip on it then, the dip and the arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the quality there. And then flick my wrist over to get over the ball and then finish with the closed racket. Cheers for time, Tom. Good stuff, mate. Day two signing out. Hey guys, so it's day three and I uh, thought I'd do something a little bit different. Thought I'd get the footage up of my backhand, have a look at it, analyze it, see what I'm doing and also compare it to a professional. 
So I thought I'd compare it to Pacha Francisca. His backhand is phenomenal. Yeah, I'll compare it side by side and see the difference and see if I can take anything to then work on my backhand in the next four days here of, on the robot. Firstly, let's just look at Patrick's backhand. <laughs> He's so relaxed. Look how effortlessly he's hitting that ball. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison in between me and Patrick. What I, what I can notice early on, straight away, you can see here in the slow-mo, is Patrick, when he starts his shot, he's coming from his left hip, whereas I'm coming way more towards my stomach. From going from your stomach, it's a bit rigid, and that's why sometimes I tense up because I don't have much backswing, and if I'm not directly behind the ball, it's gonna be difficult to contact well. Whereas Patrick, coming from the left hip, he's got a bigger lever to contact into the ball. And I think that's how he's, he's making it more effortless. Bend his knees, body turns, bang. I think that's exactly what I've got to do a bit more. I think if I come more from the left hip, it's gonna help me turn into the ball better and hopefully give me more power without having to force it. At the moment, I feel like I have to be quite stiff to get the power, be quite tense. So yeah, let's give that a go. Back to the robot. And yeah, feeling like it's coming on, but that's day four for me over. Stretch now, rest, get ready for tomorrow's day five. All right guys, it's day seven here. My last final day before the test. Let's get into it. I feel like Kranga. Guys, my seven day training is up. Now it's coming to the test time. I'm gonna try and beat my score. I've got 20 to beat. I'm confident. Yeah, I also feel like I'm a lot more relaxed with it now, so I should smash it. Come on, 20 to beat. Feeling good, happy with that. 24 out of 30, better than day one. So let's look back at the footage and look at a side-by-side -side comparison from day one and day seven and see the differences. All right then guys, so I've got day one here on the left and day seven on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's compare the two and just see what happened. So in real time, it's actually quite hard to see the difference, but if we slow-mo it right down, there is quite a difference actually. So if we see on day one, my arm and wrist is doing a lot of the work See, my body's quite stiff. It doesn't actually push into the ball. Whereas on day seven, you can see my legs is pushing upwards into the ball. My body frame's higher up than day one. What's happening is more force is coming from the ground, from my legs and body to generate the speed into the ball. Whereas in day one, this is probably why I was breaking down a lot more in the test because my arm and wrist is doing all the work. But for sure, in over the seven days, 
In the slow-mo there, you can see my backhand has improved. And for me, uh, obviously, we can see the difference on the video, but psychologically, and, and also from my own personal thinking now, when I play a backhand, I feel a lot more confident. It's more subconscious now when I play the shot. I had a training session the other day with Tom, and uh, I was using my backhand open up against him in the match, and it just felt so much easier. Uh, and I felt, felt like this wasn't a problem, whereas before, when I play a backhand, I was a bit cautious, whereas now I just play the shot and I think because I've played thousands and thousands of backhands over the last seven days, it's just become second nature. Yeah, so really, really cool. And uh, this is kind of the first time I've actually used a robot in my training. I remember in the past, a club used to have one, but it was so complex. It had like a huge panel, loads of switches. It's just a lot of aggro. But, but now with this Amicus Prime, I mean, has a tablet with it. It just saves everything in there. There's all these presets. You can change the positioning so easily via the tablet and then you can just save it as well. And that's the great thing. So when I was coming to practice on day two and three, everything is saved on the tablet. I press one button and the robot does its thing. Uh, it is quite impressive. And then obviously you've got the little remote to turn it on and turn it off, which makes things a bit easier. Hey yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different and a cool experiment for me to do. I had a lot of fun doing it. Let me know in the comments below if you use robots in your practice sessions and if you use them to try and improve your performance. And yeah, for now, be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for all the new videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching.